Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi has embarked on a six-nation tour in the Middle East. His stops include Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Iran, the United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain. And he will also pay a working visit to Oman. This is China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi, who visited six Middle Eastern countries in March 2021 in order to strengthen their ties as the United States withdraws from the region and focuses on the Indo-Pacific. Quietly and steadily, China's engagement and presence in the Middle East is one that might create quite a shift in the global power structure. China has emerged as a global economic superpower and the world's largest oil importer. China's status is predicated on its ability to meet its energy consumption needs. The Middle East is rich in energy resources and a positive relationship with the region ensures that China's massive energy demands are met on time. This is clearly the case as it is estimated that about 45% of China's crude oil imports originate from the Middle East. The amount of crude oil imported from Saudi Arabia has increased by almost 31.5% since 2018, a trend that has dethroned Russia as the primary supplier of China's energy needs. In fact, recently, Amin Nasser, the CEO of the world's biggest oil company, Saudi Aramco, has stated that the company is going to prioritize energy supply to China for the next 50 years. According to Reuters, Sources have claimed that major Chinese investors are in talks to buy a stake in Saudi Aramco. Already, 35 bilateral economic cooperation agreements worth over $28 billion were signed in 2019 between China and Saudi Arabia. Now let's talk about Saudi Arabia's rival, Iran. China has agreed to invest $400 billion in Iran over 25 years in exchange for supply of oil under an economic and security agreement. US sanctions on Iran have suffocated the Iranian economy, which can now be stabilized with the help of Chinese investment. One thing to be noticed is that China is balancing ties between Saudi Arabia and Iran, both arch rivals who want to dominate the Middle Eastern region. In 2016, China became the biggest foreign investor in this region. At $180 billion, Gulf Cooperation Council's trade with China accounts for over 11% of its total trade, making it GCC's top trading partner and replacing the EU for the first time. The Chinese state construction and engineering company is also constructing Egypt's new administrative capital's central business district. Around 85% of the $3 billion project is financed by Chinese banks. China has made significant investments in Turkey over the last decade. China is also actively involved in the peace negotiations between Israel and Palestine. China launched the Belt and Road Initiative in 2013 with the aim of increasing communication and cooperation between Asian, European and African countries. The Middle East region plays a crucial role since it lies at the crossroads of Asia, Europe and Africa. Middle East is also closest to the four strategic maritime channels of the Bosphorus, the Swiss Channel, Bab el Mandeb and the Hormuz Strait through which majority of Chinese trade and imported oil passes. A stable Middle East is of paramount importance to China because the stable Middle East ensures a continuous flow of energy, stable markets and smooth trade. China is influencing the Middle East through economic and social development at a large scale. It has also supplied arms to several Middle Eastern countries, although on a smaller scale. This indicates that China's approach towards the Middle East is vastly different from that of the USA's. It focuses lesser on military developments and more on its trade and investment capabilities. Further, China still believes that the US should take responsibility for managing security in the region. In the future, it is highly possible that China might change its stance in order to protect its own interests in the region. 
Moreover, China's establishment of its first overseas military base in Djibouti, as well as the probable militarization of the Pakistani port of Gwadar, is a sign of it safeguarding its interests at the crucial maritime choke points, which is the Strait of Hormuz and the Bab el-Mandeb. Using heavy investments and increasing economic dependency, China is also banking on the support of the Middle East with respect to the issue of treatment of Xinjiang's Uyghur Muslims. Saudi Arabia's young crown prince Mohammed bin Salman is forming new alliances. Now the leader is in China, another country accused of authoritarianism. And according to reports, the crown prince had defended China's use of re-education camps for its country's Muslim population. Currently, Middle Eastern nations in China are mutually benefiting of this partnership. For the Middle East, China acts as a source of investment and a market to sell their oil. And for China, Middle East acts as a huge market and a source of continuous energy. While Russia and the Western nations play an important role in the conflicts in Iraq, Lebanon, Libya, Palestine, Syria and Yemen, China may become deeply involved in these countries after they move towards post-war reconstruction. It's obvious that this is a development that will make the USA, Asian and European countries wary. One can only wait and see how this influences these countries' own foreign policy in the future. Until then, like, share and subscribe to our channel.